Found just a few miles from the picturesque town of Wells, in the foothills of the Caribou Mountains, you will find Barkerville. Named after Billy Barker, who first struck it rich here in 1862, Barkerville is the most important gold rush town in British Columbia. In its time, it was one of the largest cities on the west coast of North America. Today, it is one of the most spectacular places to visit, as over 100 original buildings still stand in their original place and are populated by a cast of characters recreating Barkerville as it once was at the height of the gold rush. Uh, you know, there's a lot to see. We really ought to be moving along. Okay. Well, at quite a pace. Oh, well, do try and keep <laughs> up, sir. This is a gold rush, not a gold doddle. What a place! I couldn't believe the size of this town and the fact that it is still standing as it did more than 100 years ago. As you mingle with the locals, you get the whole experience. It truly brings you back in time. How cool is this? Have a safe trip. Amazing! You can take a horse and carriage ride through town and even along the original Caribou Wagon Road. The Caribou Wagon Road was the lifeline of Barkerville and nearby towns. It carried people and supplies helping feed the gold rush. What a thrill. I can't believe I'm actually on the Caribou Trail on a wagon. Unbelievable. In Richfield, just a mile from Barkerville, stands one of the first courthouses in BC. Inside, you can catch a reenactment of a trial held by the famous Hanging Judge Begbie. Your crime, sir, was unmitigated, diabolical, murder. You deserve to be hanged. Barkerville even has one of North America's oldest Chinatowns, also complete with restaurants and shops. In town, you can catch a show at the theatre eat at a restaurant, and even stay a few days at a hotel or bed and breakfast. Even the shops and stores here are real, providing you with everything you would need to strike it rich. Good afternoon to you, sir. I'm uh, new in town and I want to get decked out to go and find my fortune. Surely you've got a gold pan by uh, now. I have nothing. Oh, well. Have you got a gold pan for me? I do. Let me see the weight of your elbows. I want the biggest pan to catch the biggest nuggets. Well, this location, as near as we can tell, is the actual spot where Billy Barker hit his pay. On August 17, 1862, they finally hit the lead. They uncovered 40 feet of paying gravel. They recovered 124 ounces of gold in the next 10 hours. How much? 124 ounces of gold. So that's well over $100,000, our money today, in 10 hours. I'm just wondering, did you, you did you strike it rich? I mean, you're walking with these lovely ladies. Uh, how come you're not out digging? Yeah. Listen, do you have any secrets about where I can find gold? Where's the gold? Oh, the gold. Oh, where can I go find my uh, fortune? Well, well, that's between me and God. <laughs> you, you don't have a lot of experience in the mining business, do you? Or? I would say next to none. Perfect. That's perfect. See, this is a chance for you. You come to us. We're, we're the professionals. That's right. We'll make sure your investment is well handled and you will see a return. I, and what sort of return will I be seeing? I've heard big dollars and I, I, I'm, I'm getting in on that. Yeah, there's gonna be big dollars. Oh yeah, yeah, we got bucketfuls of gold out here. This is what I wanna hear. With excitement in my heart, I put on my best outfit and join the other visitors to hear about this exciting and amazing investment opportunity. Could this be the gold fever that I've heard so much about? Something seemed too good to be true. Just as fast as I thought I was going to be rich, we were told that there were no more investment opportunities. Mr. Grimsby, uh -huh. does this count for me too? I mean, what? we had a deal. What in blazes makes you think you're any different than any of the rest? But you told me to be here at 4.30 and you said I was going to have my fortune fixed. Hey, there's no guarantees in the mining industry. Just grow up. The gold mining business sure is tough. All I wanted was just a little piece of the action. Well, good day to you, sir. Oh, good day to you. You yeah, don't exactly look like you're having a good time. What's wrong? Oh, I'm kind of fed up. With what? I came to Barkerville looking for my fortune, and I found absolutely nothing. 
Hmm. Well, you're joining the majority there, sir, but uh, no need to be dejected. There's lots of gold here. It just has to be found. And why should I trust you, sir? You got any choice? Not really. What's name? your name? Name's Billy. Billy, pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Show Follow me this my fortune. Walk this way. Well, this is the likely spot. I think if you look here, we'll find lots of gold. There you go, you find Billy, some gold. Billy, yeah. you were right. You're the first man, first yeah. man in Barkerville that's actually helped me find real well, gold. It's not exactly surprising, is it, when you consider how Holy well I've done here? Holy so. smokes! I came to Barkerville not understanding about the fever. Now I've got it. Just look at this, Barkerville gold. I've heard of men who see gold in their dreams. Now I see why. Barkerville was built on the dreams of the gold rush, and it is these golden dreams that still bring people here today.